to Revelation 2.26, the Word of God. So the Bible is the Word of God. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Wow, what a promise, right? So that's a thing to think about. I mean, if you think about it, the Bible is so, so much. Like, it's just, once you realize some of these things, it's just amazing. So if you stay faithful to Jesus Christ and overcome, and I looked at some of the commentators on this, because uh, we can overcome with Jesus Christ through faith. We can overcome the things, the world, um, and those things. So, sorry about, like, misspeaking there for a second. Now, Revelation 3.21, To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame. And I am set down with my Father in his throne. So, uh, one more time. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and I am set down with my Father in his throne. So I repeated it twice, just sometimes um, it's important to read. That's one thing I've been convicted about lately, just reading the Bible more slowly and spending more time thinking about the verse. Um, with this verse prior to it, you know, hopefully you should be thinking about, okay, the promise to overcome, and then it tells you to overcome, and then what, what the promise is if you overcome. And I want to ask you a question now. Do you think realize or do you think that overcoming is required so do you realize that it's required or do you think that it's not required well if you think that it's not required if you don't overcome this promise of being able to sit with and this me is talking about jesus to be able to sit with jesus in his throne and jesus says even as i also overcame and Jesus now is set down with his father on his throne. So if you overcome, and the thing we talked about before was, you know, overcoming the world, the flesh, and the devil. So if you're not sure about some of those things, um, you know, maybe a future video, or maybe I got a video on my channel. But it's required to overcome, because if you don't become an overcomer, then you won't be able to sit on the throne with Jesus. So that's what I want you to realize that being an overcomer is required. Just like this, keeping he, and keepeth my works unto the end. Notice how it's about keeping the works unto the end. Another verse says, um, you know, enduring to the end, where it talks about enduring. So you want to be. A Christian and on my channel I have um, these videos here about you know once a Christian always a Christian question mark um, you can check it up on here up on my uploads it should be if you go to my videos you can see it but that's what I'm trying to tell you that here in Revelation it's talking about that you have to be an overcomer and that's what's required to be an overcomer so, again, I'm trying to keep these videos shorter, so I'm just kind of wondering. I don't think I'll be able to get through all this content today, even though I'd like to. But I just want to keep it simple, you know, too, so you guys realize it. Because I could, you know, make the videos longer. But if people aren't watching the whole video, or if they're not understanding, you know, the first few verses, I'd be better off just giving you a couple of verses. You want Jesus to say, like in Matthew 25, 21, His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. So you want that. You want Jesus to say, well done, you being a faithful servant. So again, to review, overcoming keeping the works to the end, then there's a promise to have power over the nations. You will have power over the nations. 
also a promise in Revelation again to overcome. You get to sit with Jesus on his throne with his father. And then two, you're trying to see that you, you hopefully at the end of this life, then you hear um, your Lord say, well done. And notice how it says good. So you want to do good. You want to be good. And you want to be faithful to Jesus as a servant. And then with that comes a promise. You've been faithful over what the few things the Lord gave you. Sometimes he gives people a few more things. You see that in the Bible. And then if you're faithful over the things that God gave you, he will make the ruler over many things. So he wants to, um, you know, show you in this life, you're supposed to, you know, prove your work. Are you being faithful to what the Lord gave you? Are you resisting temptation? Are you fleeing sin? Are you fleeing youthful lust and ungodly desires? How are you doing with um, you know, money, how God gave you that? Because if you're not faithful in the least of things, the Bible says you're not going to be faithful in the greater things. So I want, you know, this is a video of encouragement too. I want you guys to be an overcomer. And because some people will be preaching, oh, it doesn't matter what you do. And, you know, just kind of sit back and enjoy the ride. And you're going to make it no matter what. Look, if you go through the book of Hebrews, it says that, you know, some fell back. Some went back. Some went astray. Someone, some people uh, turned on belief. Some people rebelled. So I don't want you guys to think that that's not possible. Again, the Bible says, take heed lest ye fall. Take heed unless ye fall. So you got to take heed to these warnings. And then the encouragement too in Revelation that we went through over here in some of these books that the, it was written to the churches, right? We have the, it says it's written to the churches and sometimes the churches weren't doing good. So they said, you know, repent. So the war, and then there was warning. So we had just, just like we have promises, and there's some books sometimes that have like promises and I like those books, but we also need to get books that say the warnings, right? And that's what we have in Revelation, the warnings to the churches that, hey, you guys aren't doing this or you've, you you left off doing this. You were doing this, but now you're not. And then it says, you know, you need to repent. Otherwise, you know, you're in, you're in face, you're going to be in danger of God's judgment and you know, you know, if you're continuing these things, you're at risk of not making it to heaven. So like those warnings are needed because if you think, well, you know, I'm just going to keep doing these things and it doesn't matter kind of attitude, then that's the kind of thing you don't want. You want to be, uh, you got, you want to know what the truth is. And, you know, the truth is that, you know, you need to, like it says, keep the works on to the end and be an overcomer, right? And one more verse for this video, John sixteen thirty three. These things I have writ, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you have, in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So there's that verse and, um. The rest of the verses I think I'm going to share for a different video. But just in closing, notice this is Jesus. And he says, be of good cheer. And he says you're going to have tribulation. So there's going to be some hard times in this world. But he wants you to be of good cheer. Why? Because Jesus says he overcame the world. So knowing that Jesus overcame the world, you can too. Um, and here, like it says, the world in this case. And remember too that how Jesus was tempted of the devil, devil in the wilderness. And he overcame that. So, and um, there's also things too, you know, um, that we can talk about the flesh, but Jesus overcame. So it says, be good cheer. So again, he's the forerunner and we follow. And it's one last verse. It says, you know, again, I think I shared this in the last video. Uh, it talks about, uh, I think it says, watch and pray. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So he wants you to be watching and praying. So this has been a video about how Jesus overcame and you can be an overcomer too and that, you know, it's required to overcome and um, stay a Christian to the end. So I, th I thank you for watching and God bless.